My name's Cedric. I'm actually going to do a video here on how to rotate the tires on your 2019 uh, Lexus 300H. Uh, I'm sure this also worked for the 2018 and 2020, if I'm not mistaken. Please correct me in the comments right below if I'm incorrect. Doing this uh, today for you guys. I'm going to try to be real quick because I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm losing sunlight quick. Here's what the wheels are right now. I'm going to change those around. And the first thing you want to do is you want to get the, the lock that's on your hubcaps. Or in this case, I have rims, so my rims have little locks. Let me show you a picture of that. Okay, so this right here is the actual lock that goes on these wheels. And that lock, if you guys, if you buy this car brand new, it should be right here in the trunk. Let me try and get that. Find the button here. And it should open up automatically if you have the key fob on you that matches with the car. Okay, on this car, I forgot where that's at. All right, so I have my trunk open and the key should be right underneath the tire here so I can clear all my tools out that I use for work so I can get the key to take the rims off the car. All right, so everything disappeared in a snap. And now you can see right down here where the spare is at and the tools to take apart your uh, the lug nuts. And get this. There we go. And this right here is what the key looks like to take those lug nuts off. And it looks like we got some extra tools in here. Got a jack down in there, but I got my own jack. I'm gonna use a one of those rapid jacks down there. Get that done a little faster. But I will use this tool though. In case I can't use that tool, I have this one as a backup. So I'm gonna leave all that stuff here. And we're gonna get started. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna get your jack. Whether you use this jack with this little fancy piece on there, or a regular jack, or the jack that came with the car. I'm gonna go ahead and put it underneath the car. Put it under where the pressure points are at. Um, I'm gonna do mine a little bit different because obviously my jack has a little bit extra on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that part started. Okay, before you jack up your car, you wanna go ahead and put your car in park, which it is, and then you wanna hit the uh, release button, the emer emergency release button, which is, let's see, where's that at? Really can't see it in the picture, but let me see the car. It's gonna be right here. See if I can. No, you still can't see it. It's too dark in here. Okay, you can barely see it in my in my picture here. Okay, but otherwise it's right here. You want to hold it until it goes into emergency park. Now it's in emergency park mode, and now it's safe to go ahead and jack up your vehicle. This car has hydraulic uh, brake system here. Okay, change the plan. That other jack that I was using, which is right over there, won't fit. It, it, the little arms that stick out is not designed for, to fit this car too well. So, I'm going to try this jack right here. And if this jack don't work, then I'm going to have to take those extra arms off, off the, the uh, bigger jack and use those tools and put it back like it should be so I can jack the car up. All right, so off to the little jack. Okay, it got a little too dark, so I went on and uh, got some light so we can see underneath here. There's one pivot point right there. That's the only spot we could use to jack up the front of this car. And that is what I'm gonna use. All the rest of this car, as you can see, it's already protected. So it makes it hard to damage the bottom of the car. Or in some people's case, jack their car up. So, I'm going to get that down and we're going to move on to the next section. Okay, so I got a flashlight so I can see underneath the car. And then also got some tools so I can uh, work on taking these arms off this jack. Because with this particular car, it ain't going to work. This this These arms are not suited for this car. Suited for maybe a bigger vehicle or truck or SUV or something like that. 
Um, so I'm going to have to use my tools and take that off so I can jack it up properly. And I was going to use the little jack here, but this guy is just too little for this car. These wheels are too big for that size jack. All right, so I got that off and didn't quite get the car jacked up yet. There is a rubber piece that goes on here. And apparently I didn't go grab that before shooting this video. So I'm going to use this as a padding to lift the car up. And unfortunately, I keep tools in different places. Not just where I live, so it's not easy accessible to get to right now. So we're going to make do with what we have. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and roll this under right to this spot right here. This is the only spot you can jack the car up at if you're doing the front. Otherwise, as you can see, by the rest of the vehicle, it is all covered up. So it makes it easier for you to do what you need to do if you're trying to jack the car up. But if you're doing something else, well... You're out of luck. You're going to have to take apart a lot of stuff. All right, so I'm going to get this started off camera, and we'll move on to the next thing. All right, so I got the car jacked up. I left just enough room to get the tire off. That way, I could put jack stands on the back, or in this case, the jack, hydraulic jack. I'm going to use my stands right here for the front of the car. And I'm just going to jack the entire car up, take all the wheels off, two at a time, rotate them, so we can get this done as quick as possible. Just like I said towards the beginning of the video. Now in this car, if we, right here, it's the pressure point for the, the jack stand. Looks like my jack stand needs to be a little bit wider. But once again, we're gonna make do with what we got. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. I gotta jack the carb just a little bit more and then we will be good to go. Okay, so I went on and jacked the carb just a little bit more off video. So let's go ahead and get this under here. Being the mechanic and the photographer, it's not the easiest job to do. Alright, so I think I got that in the right spot. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but yeah, I try to aim for this to be right in the center. So my arms are not hitting that little divot here, which I'm not for sure what that's for, but eh, not worry about that right now. now I'm just gonna slowly jack this car down. Actually, you know what? Let me get that other jack stand underneath. There we go. Just about forgot about that one. So how I can get this thing. Yeah. Okay, just one. It's always good to do your car on a level ground. But this place that I'm doing this at, this here is level enough, but all around it is a hill. So I think with the stuff crackling right here, not everything's as level as it used to be. All right, time to jack the car down just a little bit. Make sure we got everything in the right spot. Just gonna drop it down just slowly. So now I am doing the back of the car. Got the front already lifted up. Show you guys real quick. I already moved the light. Sorry about the light, folks. As you can see, the whole front is off the ground. Try to keep it as low as possible because these tires are heavy with the rim. So I'd rather not struggle. All 
All right, so now we're gonna jack this up right underneath the car. Try to find that center point. Ooh, looks like Lexus does not give you that option. Oh man, I'll have to do one side at a time. Yeah, oh, well that sucks. All right. All right, folks, so remember when I took off those arms? Well, this is that case where I gotta put those arms back on so I can put the jack right underneath where the tires are. I think those are the uh, lower somethings. I can't remember the name right now. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. I just can't think of a name. I'm having a brain fart. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to put that guy back on and uh, jack the car up. So, slide this under. Oops, check that down. And slide that guy under. And get this car jacked up. I want to show you guys what I'm trying to aim for. Alright, so I got this pipe here in the way. Yeah, let's take care of that. Lift these up higher to get past that pipe. Oh, that's the automatic trunk. Uh, I must have went over the sensor. Oh well, I'm gonna keep doing that throughout the process here. Let's try to get that just perfect. Oh, now it's going back down. There it goes. I probably should turn that off while doing this video. But oh well. Oh, now it's going back up. This will be a minute, folks. All right, finally got the car jacked up here. All wheels are off the ground, so you can see that here in the camera. Yeah, well, I guess I'll take my word for it. The whole car's off the ground. Yep, yeah, that wheel turns. We're good. If that wheel turns, that means this wheel will turn. All right, so we are good to start taking the load mouse off the car. All right, folks, I already have the tool in here. It looks like uh, the special the special lug nut key here goes right on top of here, just like so. And this here is a, looks like a, uh, what is this? 13 sixteenths, and that goes right in there. Like so. Oh, had in it. There we go. All right, now it's in there, and all you do is turn it, and that should get all of them off. I'm actually gonna do that first, and then I'm gonna come back here and do all the actual rest of the lug nuts off the car. Okay, so I got the special lug nuts off of all the rims. And one thing I forgot to mention, folks, I apologize. I should have did this towards the beginning of the video, but if you're taking off the lug nuts off the car, and if you're not using a electric impact or screwdriver then I highly recommend you ha you leave your tires barely touching off the ground that way when you go to break the nuts loose you can then jack the car up and then take them off otherwise when you're gonna do it by hand you're gonna struggle so I think I will actually end up using an electric tool instead of doing it by hand if I had the bit uh, but in the future I think I might end up doing a better video when I have a better surrounding to work in where I have all my tools accessible. Okay folks, so I ended up doing everything by hand. Uh, back is all done. Now I'm working on the front. Uh, let's see. Make 
sure the right one. And I'll try to show you how I do that. See if I can get this camera propped up right. I turn the tire the opposite direction of where I want it to go. That way I can get it loose enough so I can just spin the lug nut off. Just like so. So I turn the wheel this way with this, turn it this way, and then I clink it real fast to break it loose. I use gravity to my uh, advantage. And that's how I do it without having to jack the car back down just enough to have a test of ground and get these lug nuts loose enough to do it by hand. So there you go. Time to get the last tire. Okay, so now that I got all the lug nuts off, uh, normally when you do a, ro a tire rotation, you take your front tire and the opposite tire and you swap them. So that means this tire I will put on that side and bring that tire back this way for a proper tire rotation. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do that off camera since I don't have a cameraman available. Alright, so I got all the fronts off and uh, the back, it's not that easy. For those of you who struggle to get these tires off, it's a common issue. You can either, you can either kick them like I'm doing here. Some people, back of the hill works even better. And then, try to see if it'll come off. Yep, it's already loose, so now I can get it off. Just using my hand here. And now I should be able to pull this off. There we go. All right. And see this right here? This is uneven tread wear, because I have so much stuff in my trunk. So I'm gonna put these on the front now that I got my alignment done. So that will balance out. Okay, that was on that corner. So we're gonna put that on this corner over here. All right, it's gonna go right here. But I need two hands to do that. So we're just gonna sit that guy right there for now. And, and I gotta do the same for this one. And let me grab my light. There we go, so you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right. So same thing I did for the other tire. I'm gonna kick. See, it's starting to get a little loose. Yep, there we go. There we go. And this one's got to go to the front. I'll probably have to get another alignment done. Oops, dropping my wheel. Because whenever you do your uh, tire rotation you always want to get alignment so that's what I would end up doing once I get these back on just to make sure my alignment is in spec all right so I got these in a the spot where I want them and now I'm gonna go ahead and put these tires on talk to you guys in a few seconds all right so I got all the tires on now all I gotta do is tighten up all the lug nuts and uh, this will for those who are new at it or never done this kind of carb before when you put your lug nuts on I have them on loose I did it by hand and it's still off the ground as you can see here but what you want to do is you want to go in a star rotation so from here to here to here to here to here but since I have this on here I'm gonna do this one last so I'm actually going to start here Go here, here, and here, and then there last. Or I could even go from here, go there, there, whatever. But it doesn't matter. Whichever way you do it, as long as you do it in a star rotation, no matter how many 
lug nuts you have, you could have four, you could have five in my case, or you can have six, or if you're doing a semi, it could be a whole lot more than that. So, as long as you're doing it in a star, your tire should always be even on the rim once you put pressure on it and you tighten it at the end, which I'll show later in the video. Because if you don't do it in a star, you're going to see some people driving on the road and their tires are wobbly like this. It's probably because they didn't put the lug nuts on right and they probably did it themselves. So, that's a good way to avoid that situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I'm actually going to use my drill. I'm gonna go ahead and drill it as tight as it'll let me. This is not the tool I normally use when I work on the lug nuts. So for those who are gonna leave comments about that, yeah, I know it's not the right tool, but it gets the job tight enough so I can at least put the car back on the ground and then tighten it by hand, which in that case, I know it's gonna be as tight as it needs to be. So, let me show you guys how that's done. Okay, and of course this battery's going dead. So, so I am definitely going to have to get a different battery and finish the rest of this car. Alright, I'll go ahead and do it off camera, folks. So I went on and got all the tires tightened up with the drill. Now, I'm going to go ahead and release the car from the air and do that slowly all right and i gotta find my tool because i gotta take this back off so i can do the front as well here we go got my tool Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that off camera, and then we're going to get the front drop down as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and check this car just a little bit so I can get my jack stands out of there. Alright. I'm sure this is really dark on camera. Oh, looks like i got to go a little higher. Tells me the jack stand should be loose enough to come off, and it's not. Let's check the other one. Nope, I shifted the car on accident. There we go, now I can take the car all the way down. And of course you do it slowly. Alright, there we go, now time to do all this by hand. to do that. The drill's not going to be powerful enough. The tool I normally use has a lot more power than that little thing. Alright. 13 16 is it. <clears throat> Sorry I got my butt in y'all's face. That wasn't the intent. And last, the security one, security lug nut. There you go, that's in the groove. <clears throat> you 
just to make sure I got all of them tight. I'm gonna go back through, still doing the star motion. Oh, that's really tight. Oh yeah, we're good. And that is how you do your tire rotation. Now I got the rest of the three to do, but once you get done doing your uh, four wheel balance rotation, I shouldn't say it's a balance, but once you rotate your tires, you will want to go ahead and uh, set the setting on your car. I'm gonna hit the power button twice. All right. And now, see it's gonna say maintenance required. And that's because the car wants you to do your tire rotation. So let's go ahead and hit the button here. Actually, let me get some light too, there we go. Hit the back button here. And then we're gonna go through the settings using our keypad command. See right here, maintenance required, see your dealer. We ain't gonna do all that. But we're just gonna go ahead and go through the settings and uh, fix that. Oop. Let's go back here, and we're gonna go setting. Uh oh, nope, I don't wanna change that stuff. Okay, vehicle settings. All right, let's go down. Schedule maintenance. Okay, you wanna reset data? Yes, right there. Reset data. Your data has been reset. So now, if we go back, keep going back. Come on, let's go back. Won't let me, won't let me, won't, ah, excuse me, can't talk. Won't let me go back anymore. But as you can see, now that message has disappeared and we have no more see dealership messages anymore and now for those of you who have the Lexus app unfortunately I do not have the video recorder actually you know what I do I'll take that back I'll show you guys how to show it on your uh, Lexus app how to tell the system that you already did your four-wheel uh, 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 rotation okay guys after you get done with the uh, the settings on the app, if you guys even did the app. For those of you who didn't do the app, you can skip past the app, which you probably already did by now. But anyway, so now you wanna go ahead, I already started the car, you can hear the engine. Um, but down here, that park, that parking um, parking brake we hit earlier, uh, let's see if I can get some more light in here. That parking brake that I hit earlier, right here, we wanna go ahead and release it. Let's see if this camera focus on, there we go, that's, that's the button right here. So to release it, you wanna actually take your finger behind it, pull it, and then on the screen, well, I should've showed you before. If you push it down, then hold it. Okay, it's gonna show parking brake. And then, after you're done, and you want to release it, so you can take it out of the park, because right now, I can't take it out of the park. I already tried, it didn't work. So you gotta go ahead and release it. So you pull forward. And in here, the, that letter will disappear, and you are ready to drive. Now, folks, I appreciate you watching my video. Hope this was uh, very useful for you. Sorry about the uh, technical difficulties and the uh, mechanical difficulties I've run into uh, being the setting that I'm in. But I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned for my other videos. Bye-bye.